Uh, hello traders, this is Orlando for uh, Tradimo and uh, welcome to the Daily Edge. Now for you that don't know what the Daily Edge is, the Daily Edge is a show that I'll be running every day where I'll be going through what's in, what's, what has happened uh, uh, during the, half, uh, the, the first half of the London session and uh, it will be released right before the New York Open. So... So basically, this would be like uh, a um, like a, a recap that I will be doing every day, uh, so you can make better trading decisions uh, during the rest of the trading session. So uh, let's start about what has happened today in gold. Gold just broke with the 1282 level, and the 1282 level is such an important level, not only because uh, it is a very strong area of uh, previous support that was tested after this big 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 dump here and again here before uh forming this planet and moving back and moving uh, uh, back down to it but also is the yearly open now this is the price that gold open at when the, we uh, on the january the first and we have just broken with it so uh if you remember we were talking about this being a larger uh, bull flag formation again i'm going to show you the daily we were talking about this being a um a bull flag formation which is still valid guys but but now we have to focus on the levels below it and on the short time on the short term we are turning bearish in gold just look at how how bearish this chart looks on a daily right looks very bearish so let's go back to the four hour chart and uh, i'm going to uh again um go back here and um and uh well look at the levels that we're trading at and what happened well uh gold if you remember yesterday bounced not quite from 1282 level and that's why we didn't take the gold the, the long trade because it didn't bounce quite from the uh, 1282 level so uh we 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 were waiting for a real test of this uh level and today we had the break below and what happens well that's easy someone decided to dump uh 11, gold future contracts at the at the um at the new york open which is around 1.5 billion dollars notional uh, and uh, well um what happened is that uh gold immediately started to trade down well that's comprehensible if, if someone sells uh, 11,000 gold future contracts it's going to be swiping all those buy orders very easily now let's go back and uh well for the time being we are remaining flat in gold and um what we are looking at is maybe maybe uh let me just grab my uh my arrow uh, tool what we might uh, look at is maybe a move lower and then a retest of this level for a real continuation to the downside now this should be a, 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 this would be the greatest short um, opportunity that we've had in gold for a while because of the levels that follow below the 1282 now that we have broken with the 1282 level uh, we might continue a little bit uh, further because of momentum but then I, I assume uh, that we are going to be retracing back to that 1282 magnet before real sellers get into the market and I'm not talking I mean this guy was a real seller because 11,000 uh, futures contract is a lot it's 1.5 billion dollars notional but uh, long term sellers and uh, big money sellers not not momentum sellers like this dude uh, might be waiting for that pullback to the 1282 level but let's go back and uh, let's uh, look at the US dollar because the US dollar I mean if what we have uh, uh, I'm sorry let me just um, delete this and uh, this all right okay so uh, if uh, if what uh, we have uh, if what we have seen on the US dollar is what's really going to happen, well, this is going to help our gold short uh, ideas. Now, the uh, US dollar right here has been uh, has been pushing up, but as you can see, uh, it has been trading quite erratically uh, inside of this uh, uh, pennant, right? 
and and again um we have um uh, well we have uh we haven't seen uh the uh, US dollar do very much in the past few days but um what we are looking at right here might be a continuation pattern on the DXY. Now, if you look closely what I just drew here on the chart, uh, we had the push from the lows at 98.80. I'm sorry, 95.80. Then we hit the 161.8, which is uh, the first uh, bullish target, short-term bullish target. And then we started to trade very erratically inside this pattern, right? And right now we are... Um, uh, we are trading up as you can see right here we are trading up and we are trading right into that 97 uh, level and uh, by trading right into the 97 level we are made uh, we are uh, well uh, the dollar is pressuring uh, this uh, well not only this level but uh, I mean this uh, pattern for a breakout so what we're going to do we're going to wait for for if uh, if we get a breakout or if this is a real pattern i mean uh, you need to understand that patterns are not uh are not complete until they break out of them because uh i mean a uh, uh, price can be traded inside of a pennant but if if it doesn't uh, break to the upside well this pattern is not valid so we're going to be waiting for that real breakout uh, in uh, the in uh, the greenback uh, and that will help our short idea in gold but I, I i mean if you can see here i mean gold just keep dumping and dumping and uh again uh we are going to be waiting for a real short opportunity because i mean this momentum trade was very hard uh to take because uh of the fat finger that we just talked about but but uh what we're going to be doing right here is uh, looking the on the upside in uh um in uh, the DXY uh, for a uh, for a uh, retest of that 97.70 level that we keep talking about, right? So yeah, uh, um, we, when we break up with this uh, uh, pennant and we take out the previous highs at 97.20 or 97.20 level, we will be on our way to test that 97.70 level again. All right, so. Um, what we are going to be waiting for tomorrow retail sales i think that that we have tomorrow uh the u.s retail sales yes and the philly fed manufacturing index so uh tomorrow may, we're going to have a good day for the u.s dollar because uh, uh well the retail sales came out uh last um month at minus 0 0.4 percent and the forecast is uh uh 0 0.7 percent this is the core retail sales month over month the retail sales month over month uh are projected at 0 0.9 percent uh coming from a minus a minus spot two percent uh figure last month and uh the uh philly fed manufacturing index uh is forecasting at 11.2 coming from at 13.7 so basically we are going to be having a good day in the in the uh, US dollar and um, um, we might have the catalyst for a break above this level and uh, break uh, of this continuation pattern but that's until tomorrow for the time being uh, be careful with uh, your trading uh, stay patient um, abide by your rules by your trading rules and i wish you the uh greatest of luck in uh, your trading today